everybody saw him back today I'm gonna have quite a unique model this is gonna be a one I believe it's a 11250 scale model of a carnival triumph destiny class cruise ship now this one I picked up oh it was a good while ago from a I think it was a yard sale they only wanted like 50 like 50 cents for it and I thought wow this is this I gotta have it's so I picked it up and um, I've had it on the had it in storage for a short while and I finally got out that thinking this would make a perfect perfect video so um, this ship right here <clears throat> dates back to like the I'm say like the late like late 90s yeah late, right around the late 90s so they're still they're still in use today um you know through the years it made several like um, you know alterations to the the ship itself like namely the balconies they actually recessed some of them so like right around this part right here <clears throat> it wouldn't be as like like linear you have okay balconies then it kind of recesses balconies and such so <clears throat> you have your you know your roof line which raises kind of like the ship equivalent of a you know Boeing 747 <clears throat> so let me get this actually let me do a quick zoom in so I just had to do a little bit of blue right under it it wouldn't look wouldn't look right without it so you got all your lifeboats right along the side I want to say that um, stabilizer up the top that would be your exhaust you guys can you know you're more than more than welcome to quote me on that or correct me on that the balls I want to say on the top I want to say those would be like your GPS your satellite your navigation radar equipment all that of course you got the bridge like dead center right there yeah it's a little bit on the scuffed up side but it's a <clears throat> it's a fairly decent sized ship I mean it's you know no size wise is no no complaint And this one is made by, now um, this one's made by Darren, Darren Models. So yeah, it's not a not a ginormous model. This one, if you were to pick it up brand new, you'd probably pay maybe somewhere in the area of like sixty bucks. Again, I said brand new. This one right here, if I was to sell it, yeah, I'd probably get like a quarter for it, right around there. So when I got it, the um, stabilizer piece, piece at the top had actually cracked a little, so I had to get a little bit of red, like red duct tape, and just straighten it out. So this, as you can tell, the ship has seen quite a few, quite a few voyages. I like any video, or any review, my camera is tripping out again. What's cool is right on the <clears throat> see right on the bottom, you actually have wheels, which I would not expect that to. I didn't expect that to have. Okay, let's see if you can stabilize. Come on. Oh, come on. Nah, it's all right. I'll do it later. That's cool. <clears throat> I mean, all in all, very interesting model. Very porous. Uh, roll, rolls back in, you know, back and forth. Hard at sea. <clears throat> very, very, very cool. No, 
I don't know how many <laughs> how many rooms would be on board uh, exterior and interior quite quite a lot that's let's see kind of get a good so I can give you a good glance at it from like an angular point of view so I can bring it out oh come on it's kind of tripping out again I don't know why my camera is kind of digging out. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's try and work it. Okay. So I would care to say this is probably a mid-sized ship. It's not like a grand size oasis or a lure of the seas and at the same time it's not a ferry so all in all very cool all right thanks for watching